Hello and greetings from Eastern Europe! My name is ColbyRHD and this is the list of the very best pixel art games of 2020. And this video is sponsored by Aniba.com, which will bring you the hottest deal in the market of any gaming title, new or old. And with excellent trust pilot score, you can rest assured that you will get what you ordered. Aniba.com hosts massive sales with discounts up to 70%. To help me out, you can make that 73%. With my 3% discount code. Just enter cold beer and you'll get your games as cheap as possible. You'll find the link in the description below. Eldest Souls this is a Souls-like boss rushing game where you kill evil gods. Well, at least you think they're evil. But the backstory is that the mankind imprisoned those gods a long time ago, and now they are draining your world of life itself. To be fair, we brought this on ourselves, and now we have to repair the stuff our ancestors done in the past and kill some gods. Or, more realistically, to die a lot. The game looks absolutely amazing, those graphics are true work of art, no doubt. The only thing I don't like is the name of the game. Eldest Souls are obviously named because of the genre, but I find that a bit annoying practice. It's like naming an action RPG game Diablo. Imagine Path of Diablo, Grim Diablo, Torch Diablo. That would be silly, right? The Iron Oath this is a turn-based tactical RPG set in a dark fantasy world. Recruit, manage and embark on missions with a roster of adventurers testing the limits of their mortality. Here you will find 9 regions with over 50 places to visit. As developers say, cities can be overtaken, destroyed and rebuilt, while warriors factions can emerge, rise and fall. To say short, this game is beautiful not only outside but also inside. Just like you and me, my friend. Except that outside part. Let's be fair, we don't have that. The fighting part reminds me of Heroes of Might and Magic games, and that is a good thing. I like to think, strategize, and show AI that I'm the boss! Yeah. Carry on. This is a reverse horror game in which you assume the role of a morphous creature of unknown origins, stalking and consuming those who imprisoned you to spread fear and panic throughout the facility. To be fair, I don't even know how to describe it. It looks like, uh... Looks like an airplane. Well, when? No, it doesn't. What the hell, man? It looks nothing like that. It's more like a spaghetti monster. That spaghetti god, but evil. Oh, or should I just say a spaghetti Satan, yes? So here you grow and evolve your spaghetti Satan while tearing down the prison and acquire more and more devastating abilities. <laughs> Aita. This is a bullet hell adventure set in a world filled with monstrous bosses. When Aita wakes up and finds herself surrounded by her dead family, her only guide is a strange spirit that takes the form of a family cat. Aita is a game inspired by themes of personal struggle, and the moral is simple. If there is light, there must be darkness, but the important thing is to keep going, no matter what you endure along the way. This is kinda depressing, but I guess this game will find its audience anyway. At least it's looking really good and all those crazy bosses are in urging need of an ass whooping. Eastward this game is cute, like literally the cutest thing. If you have a fluffy dog or fluffy rabbit at home, comparing to Eastward, your pet looks like a bald mole rat. I am sorry. Of course, no offense to those who actually grows bald mole rats at home. You have a different standards, my friend. I like you. So, what this game is all about? Here you will find a charming post-apocalyptic world. Deep underground in a secret facility, a miner discovers a mysterious little girl named Sam and together you and her will journey through a decaying cities, encounter strange creatures and even stranger people.
Backbone. This is a noir-inspired detective adventure, as Raccoon Private Eye Howard Lothar sniff out clues, collect evidence, interrogate witnesses, and explore beautiful pixel art version of dystopian Vancouver. Every animation in game is handcrafted, frame by frame, and everything looks really good. This game is another proof that talking animals are nice concept not only for kids, but for the adults too. If you don't agree to this statement, ask yourself, are you okay with Khajiit and Argonians in Elder Scrolls? Let's be fair, they're kinda animals too, and really nice addition to the game world. In most. This is an atmospheric, story-driven puzzle platformer where in an abandoned castle you'll need to explore every nook and cranny, avoid detection, slice through enemies and spring deadly traps to escape the evil that lurks within. I have tried the game in Game On show in Vilnius, Lithuania a few months ago and I was really impressed by its atmosphere and almost colorless style. The game's mood is dark, grim and gloomy, something you rarely get from a pixel art games. Graphics and lighting are great and so is the music. Music, dark and menacing piano notes, along with creepy violence. If that wasn't intentionally created as a horror game, it is almost like that. In most is definitely in my radar, and it should be in yours too. Micra. This is, as developers say, an existential narrative-driven sci-fi adventure platformer set in the first-born galaxy called Nykra. The story embraces many layers of the mind and tackles the hypothetical feeling of having no purpose. What is my purpose? Pass the butter! The more I looked at the trailer, the more I liked the game's concept. This is how you create games. You ask difficult questions and then you try to answer them. Also, scenario of this game allegedly holds something unexpected, so this is definitely one of my favorites. But let me pour some salt in here. The release date of Nykra was the very end of a year 2019. And as we can see, that was false. This is why you never ever pre-order anything. And I just checked. Last update by developers in their Kickstarter starter page was made four months ago. That is a long time, but let's hope that everything will be fine. Just let's be optimistic. It's fine. All good. Yeah. Massive Galaxy. Explore, trade and fight your way through Massive Galaxy, a point-and-click narrative adventure set in a cyberpunk city's deserted wastelands and beautifully created space habitats. Become a space trader seeking to turn a profit by buying and selling goods throughout the galaxy, or become a space pirate and take everything you need by force, undertake routine missions or embark on ethically questionable jobs for a quick money. Meet several space-faring alien civilizations, discover their mighty artifacts and abandoned spaceships also explore the fauna and flora of uncharted planets. Massive Galaxy looks like a great adventure game with an interesting story to explore. Primal Light here you will control Krog, a mysterious blue creature, as he travels through the labyrinth of ladders, levers, traps and monsters arranged across 10 levels, and every level will have unique boss at the very end. Sounds very standard and classic, but the quality of the game is really stunning, and pixel art graphics part is definitely 10 out of 10. Here as a Krog, you will also dive into challenging side paths to uncover hidden collectibles, unlocking upgrades and passive abilities. The this is no doubt one of the best looking platformer games of this year. A 
Grand Dungeon. The last but not least. When I first saw trailer of this game I was gobsmacked by psychedelic electro rock music that engulfed this game like a face hugger hugging his prey. And Dungeon is a mix of action, roguelike and old school RPG styles. It is oriented towards delightful storytelling and aimed at exploration of a frequently changing gaming environment. Travel through the ruins of the shattered multiverse and decide its fate. And let's be fair, this game is pure art. It looks and sounds very well, at least for now. The main list is over, but I also want to show you four more games that I found fascinating and worth waiting for. So this year we will get our hands on Lamentum, Creepy Lovecraftian Horror. Forgone. Great platformer with extremely detailed pixel art graphics. Biomass. Something between Blade Runner, Wild West and Dark Souls. Necro Fugitive, here you are an evil monster and kill good guys, always a fun thing to do. Thank you for watching, don't hesitate to subscribe and press that like button. My name is Colby HD and I wish you a nice and productive day, bye.